Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you how to install software with Discover on Fedora. And one of the reasons is that I still see a lot of people complaining that you can't really do anything with Linux or any Linux distribution without using the terminal. Now, that might have been true, let's just say, many, many years ago, but through the years, a lot of the functions, they have become available with GUIs. So here we have Fedora 42 on my Libre computer Alta. It's not the fastest. It's a bit faster than the Raspberry Pi 4. And here we have the console. So I was trying to install OpenCL, but um, I think I'm missing some libraries. So in the end that didn't work, but um, yeah, to see if OpenCL is available, then usually I install Mandelbulber 2. So, on Fedora, you can do sudo dnf install. And then I was expecting to see Mandelbulber. So if you press tab key twice, then it should try to find it. And then, yeah, it shows that it wasn't able to find a match. So I also noticed that um, with Fedora, they sometimes use uh, capital letters. So let's just say if we want to install OpenCL, then it is not able to find it because they write it with a capital O. Hmm. That's uh, interesting. Oh, so here we see. Oh, it's lip open CL. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. So, but let's just see if we try to install it like this. So it, you really need to have the capitalization correct, but at least uh, it will try to find the matching package. So, but I already tried this before and unfortunately I'm not able to get OpenCL working just like that. Probably I still need to have a library from uh, from ARM, probably, because it's an ARM chip with an ARM GPU. Anyway, going to Discover. So, yeah, there's one little catch. Uh, Discover is aimed, let's just say, at the user applications. It's not really aimed at installing what I would call system applications or libraries. So for instance, if we search for OpenCL here, then it does have CL info available as a flat pack, but you don't see, for instance, the uh, MISA OpenCL library. So that's, let's just say, the distinction between the user applications and the system applications. Now, if we um, try to find Mendel Builder, 
So we were not able to find it from the command line, but we can find it in Discover and we can install it as a flat pack. And one of the reasons probably why you can't find it from the command line with DNF is that Discover, um, it can install software from FlatHub. And probably if you know the command line, then you can install FlatHub applications from the command line. But it's um, good to see that you also can install it with an application like Discover. So let's see if it already installed or not. Well, it says it's still installing. And uh, my desktop environment is a bit unresponsive, so probably it's still installing. So it's almost 170 MB, well it's not that large, so not really sure why it's taking so long, but yeah, my Libre computer Alta is not the fastest single board computer I have, so Here it goes, 73%. And perhaps uh, it's also a bit unresponsive because I'm running from a micro SD card. But for me, yeah, running from a micro SD card is always easier because if I mess up an image, then I can just take out the micro SD card and uh, write a new and fresh image and start over. So it should be almost there. Oh, I am wondering what 
is taking so long. So let's try to start the system monitor to see what it's doing. If it's doing anything at all. Okay, so let's see, processes, Well, there's not that much CPU load. So I'm really wondering why it is taking so long. Okay. Well, finally it's there. So we can launch it. And here we have Mandel Builder. So here you saw that we installed Mandel Builder without using the terminal with discover on Fedora. So this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.